Hello everyone. Hi guys. Uh, so this is basically the final consideration for our final module from our first ever Agroforestry Academy course. So we're really happy we've come this far. We've probably said most things uh, throughout the webinars and through all the, our interaction. Uh, we're basically going to be summing up this, this module which was uh, based on planting the plot where we had four systems. Felipe, what can you tell us about the, the, the summary? So we really hope that, I mean, we've constructed, we constructed a lot of theory in the first modules, you know, some principles, techniques, all the basics, idea um, that nurture the work that we we're doing and that we really want to spread this out to, to everybody, to, to the whole world. And we really want that with this module, we could have really made it, you know, all the, the those concepts, those techniques, we really made them solid by showing it to you how we actually apply them to the soil, to, to, to the land, to, to the, the crops, right? To the plot that we planted. Um, it's always good to remember that, you know, we showed you four different consortiums, four different um, modules, four different systems. And, but there are a million ways to do it, right? I mean, yeah. we probably never did these exact consortiums ever in our lives before. Yeah. The exact ones. We did similar ones, but we always changed something. And that's something we always encourage people to do. Try it out. Try it out. And you know, what works for me might not work for Felipe in his house with his condition and his material. And we, we found that a bit throughout the course. We, we've, had, we've got different ideas as well from different experiences. So this is really interesting. Uh, it's all valid. You know, it, it's all worked. So we've really, you know, exchanged a lot, a lot throughout as well. And, and we, we were happy to, to have been exchanging with you as well, with, with all your feedback and, and all of that. So, so, you know, we're really proud of, of, the, of, of, of our tribe, you know? Um, yeah, that, that, that's, that's pretty much it. That sums up pretty well. And I think what, what we really want to, to leave it, I think with this module, right? And with, with the conclusion, what we really want to leave it as a, as a mark is that there is no recipe for it, right? And the idea that agroforestry systems, they really provide a vast number of possibilities and it's very versatile and it's I'd say it's a plastic system because you you really can change it as you go all right so yeah. if I, I all right I planted a vegetable plot right but in a couple of years I might change my mind and decide no now I want to do coffee here or I want to allow my bananas to produce and I want to be you know change so it, we really do it to have the vast number of possibilities throughout time. Remember, we're just distributing plant throughout time and throughout space. You know, I love that, uh, that theory, which is, which is reality, where, you know, we really just need to, to start. And uh, say one, two years down the line, you're not happy, bring it all down, be radical, bring it all down. And what would have happened? We're gonna start again in a plot that's so much better than the first time we started. So it's really a case of that, you know, them kind of charts there, you know, where you've grown life and you know, I want to chop it all down. Okay, but I'm now starting at this point, I'm starting with a lot more life and we grow it again and you can prune and you can grow it. So really, don't be afraid, restart, you know, if you haven't got it right, you know, if you've been planting and you really want to start again, bring it all down feed it back that material and you're going to start better than you had started last time and and you know through this pruning through this feeding that's when we're going to you know really harvest the nuts exactly. and the acai you know acai power from brazil man <laughs> exactly <laughs> and um we know that the plant the, the part that we showed you you know the planting is really just two three percent of the work you know, the work is really going to develop throughout the next months and years. And like you already know, we're not going to leave you now. We're going to, you're going to accompany us, okay, throughout the development of these systems. 
right for a few months so that you can actually see how beautiful it gets you know how productive it can be and how the soil is gonna change in just a few months you're gonna see the difference of life how the plants are gonna be really thriving and it's really amazing you know it doesn't take a year to see the result yeah. people get impressed after a couple of months to see wow what a difference you know it's completely different from from other systems you can see it a couple From of days a couple, couple of, of days, days ago a couple exactly. of days ago we, we we you know we planted this <laughs> a couple of days ago and we can we can see we can see it all coming already you know exactly. in a couple of days in a, in a one or two weeks this is going to be completely green i think with these four modules that we've recently planted with you you know it's giving you a nice base to understand the principles right so it really is up to you now to you know, make it like your, your home garden, make it your business, you know, and you can count on us. We're here with you. Let's do it together. Exactly. And really take action. All right. One thing that's very important here is to not be afraid to make mistakes and to not wait for the perfect consortium, for the perfect way, because it really doesn't matter. You, what really matters is to get things going. This is something I find it very important. You really do it in your home, do it in your garden, do a small plot. There's no um, minimum area to do agroforestry. You can do it in two square meters, you can do it in two hectares, you can do it in 2,000 hectares. So really just go out and do it. You know, find out what you've got at hand, what, which plants thrive in your place. You know, Felipe, and do it. I wanted to leave a message as well about uh, let's not get into the war of agriculture let's not fight with the weeds let's not declare war with the bugs because we're going to lose that war we're going to spray things and just just pay attention to this once i've sprayed something whether it's natural or not we're eliminating that one bug we didn't want but we're eliminating the bugs that we did want as well so from once i've sprayed this natural or not organic or not I am assuming that I am causing the unbalance and then I'll always need another spray. So let's not cause an unbalance ourselves. And let's really respect every single species and understand that no one is an evil weed. No one is an, an unwanted weed. Exactly. If, if it's growing, it's because you've not grown there and it's filling that spot, it's filling that layer. You know, so it's all about processes and understanding and respecting each species. Let's not get into war with weed, okay? Let's use it. Let's use it. If I want to kill this, I'm going to use it to feed, all right? So, let's... let's exactly, let's, let's remember that everything mindset. is a resource. Really everything is a resource and every being has its purpose and it's doing something. It's not here for no reason at all. And every being is there's, a, there's a story Actually, it's not a story. It was a study done by, I forgot the name of the, the guy. He was this British Indian guy. And he wrote a book, I which I really recommend, which is um, an agricultural testament. And he had a very interesting um, ex experiment because he had this uh, field of cotton that was completely lost because India at that time was completely lost with a specific bug or, or disease I don't quite remember what it was you know what he decided to do he said all right the best thing to do is nothing I just have to wait because nature balances itself out and after a couple of years he could work that land again and it came out okay. perfectly free of disease of pests of anything because because he allowed nature to come back fulfill Other its purpose exactly otherwise if you're constantly trying to control it it's not gonna work because you're 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 you're, you're pruning you're, you're, you're cutting back uh, a process that's going on um, every single being in this earth and species is equipped to fulfill its purpose apart from the human being everyone else is born and it fills its purpose in the earth and it leaves a positive mark 
energetically wise apart from the human being exactly so basically we just have to find our place and our job and our purpose and function with nature and that's the idea of agriculture of agroforestry of planting forests in this way it's the the it's what we can do to make the system better always leave a positive positive impact wherever you go whatever you do every action has to have a positive um, balance and we're sure that you're going to do that and it's going to make the world a better place basically and let's spread the word out let's let's do let's plant forests everywhere with food let's plant food forests because we have to eat let's plant what we eat with forests let's plant it in our children's school you know, I cannot stand my daughter going to school and eating crap you know all these intolerances let's do it in the schools let's do it in the in, in the playgrounds let's do it at home do it at work you know it's it can be pretty as well let's have it as a garden agroforestry garden there's a system for that so on that note we're going to present you the guys that work here in situ the jazz with us these are the guys keeping our horses healthy the the plants all nice and pruned and all the harvest and everything this is still franco And Luis, these are the engine, these are the motors, these are the guys who make it happen behind the scenes. So we have lots to thank them and, and we wish them all the best. Definitely. Thanks very much. Perfect. Really yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So on that, um, we leave it to you to take forward the movement, right? Let's make the, this Agroforestry Academy tribe stronger so that we can spread good to the world. And we really believe that this really changes the quality of our life better, right? This is what can, what can recover all the degraded ecosystems. We can really have a positive impact on that. So we leave it to you to be part of that too. And we thank you a lot for bearing with us and for coming all the way to, to this point. And we're gonna keep in touch, yeah. right? So, so remembering that, you know, we're, we're made of choices and we're responsible for that choice. Exactly. So let's make the right choices. All right. Now I'm going to finish. All right. From the Agroforestry Crew Academy, signing off.